Hello everyone, it's Eric from freelearner.how. I, in this video, I'm gonna be talking to you about a kind of a fun side project I've been working on the last couple of months for monitoring your crypto mining rigs. Uh, in this video, I'll kind of talk through what the purpose of it is. Um, I'll, I'll walk through the sign up process so you can kind of see how do I sign up? How do I use the basic configuration? Um, and I'll also talk about what the roadmap is and future aspirations of the project. Now, before we get started, I do want to say that we're using a couple of referral processes here to help kind of fund what, uh, the projects that we do here at, at Freelearner. Um, this is the way all your uh, YouTube videos work, so you know how this goes, everyone. Um, first is Coinbase. Uh, right now, if you use our referral link for Coinbase down below, Coinbase will give you one. Uh, $10 uh, after signing up if you fund your account with $100. It's probably about the easiest 10% that you'll ever make trading cryptocurrency. Um, it also helps to support this channel, so really do appreciate it if you use our referral link and sign up for Coinbase. The other one that I've got down below is for Brave, uh, the Brave browser. If you care about your privacy and security online, which you should, uh, then the Brave browser is a great way to uh, automatically block trackers um, and uh, advertisements across the web. Um, it's also an interesting project in that uh, it looks to kind of change the content creator um, and monetization strategy to move us away from this world that we've had for the last 20 years, which is so highly dependent on advertising. So it's a neat, fun project. Um, I don't know if we'll actually get anything out of the referral process for the Brave browser, but uh, I, I like it so much. I've been using it pretty much exclusively for the last several months, uh, and I wanted to share it with you and, and suggest that, hey, go, go give it a try. It could be a big part of your uh, um, security and privacy strategy while you're online. Uh, with that, let's get into uh, Rig Manager in a bit more detail. All right, so let's talk a little bit more about what Rig Manager is. Um, I do a small scale crypto mining. Um, really my intent is not the mining itself, but more of a test platform for what different things will do. Um, and then uh, largely share that with the community and also do some kind of side uh, advice um, and, and work with uh, larger scale miners. The um, platform that I've used for a long time for doing data logging of crypto rigs and what they're doing uh, is kind of a, a hack of an old system that, I, that I've used for years and years uh, based on PHP and MySQL. Um, I've been using it with a lot with uh, Multipool Miner recently, um, which is a good miner that does multiple algorithm, uh, multiple miner, multiple pool switching automatically. Um, and they made some changes in one of the fairly recent versions that kind of broke the, the monitoring that I, that I sort of hacked in place. Now, I could have just continued to modify it, but I said, you know what, I, I may as well make something, go take this concept and make something that others can take advantage of, so it's not just me. Um, and of course, knowing how well your rigs are doing are, are, are pretty key here. Um, first and foremost, if you're running any sort of mining operation, even small scale at home, uh, you want to be able to know that things are running and they're healthy, um, and if they're not, uh, be able to see that. Uh, and then uh, secondarily, if you're going and making changes, you're going and doing setting configurations, things like that, um, uh, tweaking your overclocking, trying different monitoring tools, different pools, different coins, uh, you want to be able to have good data so that you can go and quantify what was the most successful uh, at that point in time. Um, so the new service that I've that I've built, kind of based on these these old premises, was a is is a still a work in progress. I'll, I'll preface this conversation and say that uh, this is early. Um, I'm sharing this with a limited number of users who sign up. So sign up and are active. Um, so go to the service, go go sign up. Uh, the website I've got it up right now on the screen. Rigmanager.xyz. Uh, is the address, plug it into your browser, go sign up. I'm gonna walk through the sign up process right now. Um, if uh, interest is really high, I'm probably gonna end up turning off uh, 
the sign up process just because I want to make sure that we're scaling at an appropriate rate here. Um, it's like I said, it's pretty early, so I'm expecting to have uh, some some kind of teething issues along the way. Um, although I, I think it meets kind of the basic requirements here, so I, I very much just wanted to share this with you, um, give you an opportunity to, to use it. Um, you'll, you'll find it's much freer and much more interesting, uh, at least I think so, as compared to some of the paid options out there. Um, so I, I hope you enjoy it. Um, I'm going to go through, let's, let's kind of walk through what the sign-up process is right now. I, I, right now, uh, what we're using is Google Authentication for login. Um, I've had a couple of questions whether or not we can use other types of uh, login approaches. And um, unfortunately, right now, to keep things simple, uh, we've only enabled Google for login. The intent is to enable others, though, uh, as we move forward. I just wanted to keep things simple from a testing perspective uh, before enabling it. Uh, that said, we really don't care what Google account you use. Go create a separate account for the sake of, of playing around uh, and just using Rig Manager. Uh, we don't care. Um, one of the key tenants, uh, as you see on the, on the front page here of this, is we really don't want to gather any personal information about you. Um, uh, the intent is gather just the bare, metal, bare minimum information required in order to run the service. Uh, and that's it. So this isn't uh, data logging, Google, Amazon, Facebooks of the world where we're trying to track your every move. Um, we're just trying to provide something that's simple uh, and uh, valuable to you. So first and foremost, I'm gonna go ahead and click on log in using Google. So we're not capturing any of this login information. You'll notice the address bar, this is just Google's native uh, authentication process. All, all we're doing is letting Google tell us, yes, you are the account that you say you are. And that's all we really care about. Um, so now that you've signed up, uh, you can see that uh, um, there's not really a lot going on yet. I uh, tried to keep it pretty simple. Um, it, you know, welcome, doesn't look like you're signed up, click here to sign up now. So I'm authenticated with Google, but I haven't actually signed up for Rig Manager yet. So Google has told me I am uh, rmxyztest at gmail.com, but I haven't signed up. So now I'm going to actually sign up and this will enable my Google account to use Rig Manager. Um, we've got a, a very simple uh, disclaimer and end user licensing agreement here. Uh, again, the goal is not anything complicated with you. It's basic and simple. Uh, key here is use it at your own risk. No warranties expressed or implied. You know the stuff. Uh, yep, I agree. Sign me up. Cool. I'm in. Now what? Um, again, uh, it's early uh, testing here. Um, we are planning on kind of making this a little bit more interesting as we go forward uh, to kind of help um, self-help and prompt and all that type of stuff. But for now, it's uh, um, pretty blank. Uh, you'll notice it looks like either you have no workers or they've yet to check in. Visit settings to add new workers or check back soon. So I need to go into settings. I need to actually do something. I need to create a worker. Um, the concept of a worker is really just a rig. So I can go and I can take a rig and I give it a unique name. If I've got three rigs, I give them all unique names. Um, and I use that name every time I check in with Rig Manager so it knows it is what it says it is. So I need to create a, a new rig um, or a new worker. Let's call this guy um, FL Test. That sounds like a fun name. Add. Okay, cool. So now I've got my worker added and it gives me a worker security key. Um, if you're doing a custom uh, scripting for reporting in, you're gonna need this worker key. It's kind of like a security key. For the sake of this video, we're gonna keep it a bit simpler. We're just gonna go with a uh, multi-pool miner, um, which uses its own unique worker key. Um, so I'm gonna go and pull that unique worker key, which I've got listed right here. And I need to, in order to be able to use that, I need to put in my NPM key. Great, there's my NPM key. I'll go and update that, and I've got my NPM key listed here. Uh, that's all the configuration that I need to make within Rig Manager itself. Uh, and then I need to make a small configuration change inside of the start.bat for multi-pool miner in order to allow it to check back in. So I'm gonna go back to that start.bat, 
This is the same script. If you use multi-pool miner, you should be very familiar with it because you have to configure this script in order to be able to use the miner. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and one of the things you have to do with multi-pool miner is set the worker name. So I need to use that same worker name that I used inside of Rig Manager, FL test. The other thing that you need to do is go all the way to the end and uh, change the miner status URL. Right now, uh, by default, it's got the multi-pool miner status URL, which is a nice, simple URL but it doesn't uh, for tracking, um, but it's pretty limited in what it can do. So I'm going to go in and put in, uh, and of course, this is all listed in the documentation on the site, but I, I'll go ahead and plug it in right now, rigmanager.xyzmpm.php. Uh, and that's it. So I'll go ahead and save that configuration. Save. And I'm going to go to the home page of Rig Manager. I can click on home or I can click on our new logo there. Um, again, looks like you have no workers or they've yet to check in. So I have a worker, but it hasn't checked in yet. Uh, you should all be familiar with launching uh, Mining Pool Hub. If you run it, I'm going to go ahead and run start.bat and it's going to go ahead and it's going to launch itself. And while that's launching, I'll open up the PowerShell status window here so we can kind of see what it's doing. We'll let it run for the first minute so it's got a full cycle. You see it to check in and then I'll go back to Rig Manager so you can kind of see what it has listed there. Um, while that's doing that, I'll talk a little bit about how Rig Manager works here. So the way your clients check in with Rig Manager is it's a very simple web request, like you do to fill out a form, although we've kept it super lightweight, super simple, because we don't want something that um, requires large data or it's gonna be um, big latency. Uh, we want little, little itty bitty check-ins. So it's less than it takes to check into your pool. Um, and it's done from each and every one of your rigs themselves. So some mining applications have some piece of software that has to run on each of the rigs. We wanted to keep this really simple so there's no special software. It'll work with anything, uh, can be made to work with anything. Um, uh, so advantage to that is you have complete control uh, over your information, what miners you want to use. You can modify it, do whatever you want with it in the future. Uh, disadvantage is uh, it's a bit DIY in that you have to do some scripting. Um, we've included some examples on the site, and I'm going to do another video shortly here about uh, um, doing a more manual configuration with uh, um, some of the con uh, common miners, connecting into APIs, writing a script to pull, whatever information you need, and then sending it back. Um, it's also pretty flexible in that you can get information from multiple sources. So the miner itself might tell you, for example, if I'm using CC miner, the miner itself might tell me, um, here's what that individual card is doing from how many watts it's consuming to what its temperature is. But maybe I want more information. Maybe I want what's the wattage of the entire rig rather than just the, um, a GPU, for example. Um, and uh, I want to be able to report all that back. All right, so I can see we've got a mining status run as complete. It says that it's checked in, success, wonderful. Looks like I'm running CC miner Trex, um, which is cool. Uh, this rig, by the way, that I'm running on is, is uh, uh, just got a, it's a test rig that I've got um, sitting in my garage. I'm remote desktop to it. It's got a single 1080 Ti uh, video card in it. So let's go back to my rig manager window and I'm gonna do a refresh and see what I get here. Now you can see I, I've got my worker that's checking in. Um, it tells me the pool that it's connecting to, which uh, um, the multi-pool miner will tell me automatically, um, passes along what miner it's running, what algorithm uh, it's uh, running, and how many, what's my hash rate. Um, now, multi-pool miner does not tell me watts and temperature. Um, I uh, haven't shown you this, but on this rig, I've, I've hacked up the re reporting script a little bit to give additional information. Um, so if you want to see the next, wait and see the next video where I kind of show some of the advanced things that you can do to report that type of information, you can. Um, otherwise, that field will come up blank. No big deal. Um, projected revenue uh, in Bitcoin. So um, by default, multiple miner goes and calculates what the rate in Bitcoin per day uh, the miner is running at. 
Uh, and then uh, rig manager goes and extrapolates that out and says, well, at that rate, um, how, many would I, how many would I get in a day, a month, a year based on this current estimated rate? Um, and then a uh, similar type of thing for fiat currency. Um, where, uh, again, multiple miner does not calculate that for me automatically. Uh, what we've built into Rig Manager is a um, current calculation based on the current exchange rate of Bitcoin um, for the sake of multiple miner. For any other miners that you integrate, uh, really it's up to you to tell, to do your calculation and determine what you think your current profitability will be based on the current hash rate algorithm difficulty um, pool, payment uh, estimates, whatever. Um, so you can kind of figure that out. Uh, again, the idea is don't don't be super clever on the service side, allow you to integrate anything, um, take any information you want, and kind of share that information back. Um, uh, again, in future video, I'll kind of uh, take you through what are some of the other types of things that you can report, how can you calculate what that profitability is, how do you show that? Uh, then the last thing that I'll show you here, uh, if you click on the individuals, we do have some basic charting and graphs that show um, here's uh, what the check-in rate um, is. Now it doesn't look particularly interesting right now for the fiat revenue just because uh, it's only checked in three times so far it looks like. So it's only three little tiny points on a scattered graph. It looks a lot more interesting once you've got uh, um, a longer data set in order to fill that in. Um, uh, you may be wondering why I say fiat currency instead of U.S. dollars. Uh, right now, we're keeping it quite simple. It just says fiat currency, but one of the uh, um, big upcoming changes here is to allow you to select what fiat currency to display it in. So in the U.S., I might care about U.S. dollars. Um, if you're in Europe, you might care about euros, uh, whatever other country you're in. I want you to be able to use your local currency, report it in your local currency, and have that display in your local currency. So that's the intent. Um, we'll add that feature in. There's a couple of other kind of big features that are on the backlog that I will mention briefly. Uh, things that I, I think are going to be fairly important are the ability to export your data. So we'll do like a CSV export if you just want to export all of your rig data. It's yours. That's fine. Um, and uh, um, there'll be a series of other kind of future enhancements as we go along. So the intent of this is very much a living project. We're going adding things in. This is where you come in. Uh, need your feedback. So go sign up, start using it. Um, and then there's a link down here right on every page uh, to Reddit. We've created a subreddit for Rig Manager. Um, please go to the subreddit, make a post, tell us what you think. Tell us what some of the, if you're having any issues, tell us about those issues. Um, and tell us uh, key features that you think are kind of essential to add to the service. And we'll prioritize um, adding new features and making changes based on your feedback. So very much want your feedback. Uh, um, please go check it out. Um, I, again, uh, uh, there's some links down below to uh, some of our, our referrals here. Um, Coinbase is uh, right now giving you a $10 uh, bonus for signing up if you use our referral link down below, which is pretty cool. Um, and then uh, Brave Browser as well. You'll notice in this video, I'm, I'm not actually using Brave Browser, and that's because this rig is a dedicated test rig. I don't have anything installed on it other than the basic stuff for crypto mining. Uh, so I don't really do any web browsing from this rig. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> but for regular browsing, uh, Brave Browser is pretty excellent. So, so go click those, check it out. Um, we've also got a link uh, down in the description to our companion article on freelearner.how. Uh, we do not, not only videos about crypto, but uh, videos about uh, living free, uh, what freedom means in your life, uh, financial freedom, uh, freedom uh, for food, for health, for uh, um, really uh, across the whole spectrum of your life. So come check out our site as well. Um, check out the link specifically for Rig Manager. Subscribe uh, and uh, hope you come see us on a next video with a bit more detail on Rig Manager. Thanks a lot for joining me today and uh, look forward to your comments.